Hey yo, what's up? Uh, welcome back. Uh, today I'm just gonna talk about how I became a funded trader, and um, I started trading back in 2022. I started 2021, and I was trading my own capital for probably the first six six months, and I was just doing um, stock options before progressing into forex uh i got into forex and uh i kind of did the similar thing that most people do i traded news i uh, didn't really have a strategy was big on like indicators um didn't didn't know what a risk to reward was to be honest um and then i i did about three yeah, I did three challenges on my Forex funds before, and I blew them all, by the way. Blew the first one. I think I passed the second one. Blew phase two. Uh, blew phase one on the third one. And then on the fourth one, I <coughs> I passed it all on AUD, USD, and I think AUD, JPY with 100% win rate, but honestly, like I just caught one trade and I just kept adding sizes to it until I passed this challenge on both, uh, on both challenge one, uh, phase one and two. Uh, and after that, I got, I was able to become a funded trader, you know, did the paperwork, signed the contract, and I had received, it was a 10K account. Um, yeah, I quickly, quickly realized the importance of a strategy and stuff because I then, um, I, I, I was up like 400 the first night I had the funded. I was buzzing, bro. I was up 4% 4, 4 on a funded account in one night. I'm like, I'm gonna get to like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get 10% tonight because I had done it on my first phase. I was like, there's no way I couldn't do, you know how it goes. Um, position flipped on me. I was down to like, I was only up 2%. And then the next, and I was like, I'm done. I'm done for the night. I even called my buddy, I'm like, bro, I'm up this much. Like I'm on a walk, like I'm done trading. I get back, trade, of course, because I, uh, I didn't, I didn't understand the importance of a, a strategy. I just, I, if I liked the trade, then I was in it and I'm sizing up that position, you know what I mean? Um, and then, so I eventually got it down to like probably negative. I was in drawdown from 7% because I just was like putting on huge lots, like three stop, three pip stop losses, just like just being not the smartest trader. And this was all on my Forex funds um, in July, right before they they closed down and they got caught up in the, I think it was CTCF or whatever it is. Um, yeah, so I lost my funded account with my Forex funds. Um, and then I just started trading my own capital again for probably two months, three months, and then I and then I started with the Funded Trader. Um, currently working on a 50k account with the Funded Trader. Uh, I was really hoping that my forex funds was going to come back, but it did not. Unfortunately, I the the court case I think was against um, everything they were doing, so they're gone, right? Um, yeah, and that's uh, that's how I became a funded trader, and I'm still pursuing um, that. Of course, we don't know how long these prop firms are gonna stick around. We, uh, it looks like the futures, um, the futures might be the better route. In all honesty, um, their prop firms are regulated. Um, they're sound. You don't really hear anything bad with futures. It's not. It's all centralized on like Forex. Like Forex is the only, I believe is the only market that's not centralized. And prices are manipulated on different brokers and all these different things. Like futures may be like the right move forward for most traders if you've been trading for two, three years at this point. Um, but yeah, 
And that's it for today. Thanks. Thanks for watching.